Way, way, way before I had any confidence to do any cooking, I was just making sandwiches. And I know it doesn't seem like you're cooking exactly, but I realized by putting different combinations and heating stuff up, you're actually cooking. So sandwiches are kind of the first awesome way to start cooking, at least in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you guys four sandwiches, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. Four ingredients only that anyone can make. All right, the first one is a classic McDonald's, one of my favorite breakfast sandwiches of all, Tizzle McNizzle. Now the thing about this sandwich is it's so good and it's so easy and it's cheaper and probably faster to make, I'd, I'd argue for, than going to McDonald's with the gas and the talking and the people and stuff. So all you do is you get some sort of ring mold. I'm using just the top of a mason jar, make sure you oil it inside. You crack an egg in there and you just sort of scramble the egg up, like bling, 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 little salt, little pepper. And then you just let that cook, but I'm gonna put a little Canadian bacon, also known as like the round ham, and just kind of cover it with a lid. Flip over that ham, you can use the sausage, you can do whatever, bacon. Then you just gotta get the egg out of the lid. I was, uh, you know, spilled a little bit, but no big deal. You flip it over, and buzzing, buzzing, you're just cooking your circular egg. I had the cheese, I kind of forgot the American cheese, so I uh, went ahead and just gave myself a little bit of that shredded cheddar, then put the ham on top. And you take that toasted, what do you call those things? English muffins. And look, kaboom. Look at that thing. Are you kidding me? The egg, the cheese, the ham, English muffin. Such a good breakfast. Takes minutes to make, takes seconds to eat, and takes your whole life to really appreciate and enjoy. So now up is the fact. You take those pocketless pittas, also known as flatbreads, Pocketless pitas, 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 pitas. And you just kind of heat it up on both sides. All you're doing is warming it. You can crisp it up a little bit, but it just kind of brings that pita back to life. I took some diced up chicken, but any meat will do. Some diced up tomatoes and some avocado. And that is it. Little salt and little pepper in there. You can add any spices or hot sauce, any sauce you want. But we're doing four ingredients, so just mix that up. So easy. So for, it's like a really fresh thing. You know, you put it on that flatbread. And it's just really gloriously fresh sandwich. You're just gonna wanna eat for lunch. Oh man, it's great cold, it's great hot, however you want it. Now we're gonna take a trip down to Mexico. Take those corn tortillas, take two of them, and you just kinda fry them one at a time, or two at a time if you got a big enough pan. Just fry it on both sides, you wanna get it crispy. It's almost like one big nacho. You hit it with some salt, and then you take that roast beef and you just throw it in the pan and you just heat it up until it gets nice and brown. You know, it's getting nice and brown. I throw a little cheese in there. Look, the cheese just instantly melts. I got my Mexican blend, any cheese will do ya. And just kinda let it melt in there. Yeah, yeah, give blue. Look at that flip style. Yeah, you like that flip style, don't ya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now I put my tortilla down, and I put some of that cheesy beef, and then I hit it with salsa. Any good salsa you like, hot sauce, salsa, both, whatever you want. You could even do sour cream if you want to get real crazy. Put it on top, and that is the sandwich. I mean, when do you get to eat a sandwich that looks so sexy with only four ingredients it took three minutes to make? Who am I kidding? No one, folks. I am the glorious lab master. And now am I gonna take a bite? Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like it, don't you? You love it. Ooh, he likes it. Yeah, he likes it. Now the Jelvis, because this thing's gonna make Elvis jelly, if you know what I'm saying. Jelly, okay. No, don't be jelly. Yeah. Come on, Wendy, don't be jelly. So you take a little bit of cinnamon raisin bread and just toast it, and then hit it with Nutella, which is maybe the best thing. It's like what God spreads in his hair, I think. So you put that on both sides, right? And it's just like, mm, I like that. Then a little bit of bananas, slash bananas, and some strawberries. You could throw in bacon if you want to get extra crazy, but that's a whole other show, people. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And that is it. Four ingredients, Nutella, cinnamon raisin bread, the beautiful thing about that bread too is that it's already got a bunch of flavor in it so you don't need to add cinnamon and raisin, it's already in the bread. Think about that. I'm gonna eat this one like here because I just want to show you guys how delicious it makes my belly. Subscribe to our mofo. What's up?